Now, at five, a shooting at a Metrolink station right by Enterprise Center, thwarted by a St. Louis City Sheriff's deputy. This all took place at the stop at 14th and Clark, where police say the deputy shot the juvenile after they pulled a gun and started shooting. Our Russell Kinsall has that story tonight. That guy was just happened to be there at the right time yesterday to keep people safe. It was a deputy with the St. Louis County Sheriff's Department who was in the right place at the right time. Well, you know, I feel like he saved some lives. The deputy was working as extra security at the Metrolink platform near 14th and Clark. There was an altercation and that the deputy heard at least one gunshot. Kevin Scott is the general manager for field security for Metro Transit. The sheriff's deputy reacted and uh, confronted the individual and, you know, ordered him to drop the firearm. He did not comply. Uh, you know, and the deputy stopped the threat. This Metrolink platform happened to have an armed officer, but not all platforms have security personnel who are armed. Some riders would like to see that. Well, I think Metrolink should uh, allow their uh, security to be armed. You know, I think that's the best policy. You know, you, you can't fight the bad guy with mace and he has a weapon. Scott said the agreement that set up Metro Transit prevents security guards from being armed. So hiring off-duty police officers is an important part of the overall security plan. But there aren't enough of them to be on every platform. Sheriff's deputies traditionally only worked in the courthouse providing security and transporting defendants. For several years, Sheriff Vernon Betts has been working to train his deputies and get them certified to work as public safety officers out on the streets. Scott said he is thankful that Betts signed an agreement to allow his deputies to work security on Metrolink platforms. Oh, he's been very supportive of us, uh, and this is a perfect example of how stepping outside of the traditional protocols from law enforcement really paid off in this opportunity. And Metro Transit is boosting other aspects of security on platforms and with security cameras, eventually a total of 2,000. He said all their efforts try to mitigate the potential threat of violent crime. And that's what we're trying to do with law enforcement. We're trying to do with security, with the hardscape changes that we're making with the secured platform plan and all of the technology that we've put in place. All secure platform plan station enhancements are expected to be completed by the end of 2025. Russell Kinsall, First Alert 4.